Hello, my name is Adriana, and I'm an elder here at Bethel Church. I'll be leading us in our Lenten readings and then in the prayer of the people. Today is the sixth Sunday in Lent, and our reading is based on John 13 and Luke 22. This Palm Sunday, we are eager to join the people of Jerusalem in crying, Hosanna to the Son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. But we remember how quickly these cries turn to words of hatred and condemnation as the people called for Jesus to be crucified. Because of his great love for us, this is how our Lord provides for our salvation. Through his suffering and death, Jesus paid the price of all our sins, and through his resurrection, he brings us into new life. Hear these words from Colossians 2. When you were dead in your sins and in the uncircumcision of your flesh, God made you alive with Christ. He forgave us all our sins, having canceled the charge of our legal indebtedness, which stood against us and condemned us. He has taken it away, nailing it to the cross. And having disarmed the powers and authorities, he made a public spectacle of them, triumphing over them by the cross. May I lead you in prayer. Our dear Lord and Father, we come to you on this special Sunday, Palm Sunday, to give you praise and to thank you for the wonderful gift that you have given us, forgiveness of our sins by Jesus' death on the cross. You have showed us such great love, and we are so thankful for it. Help us to be truly grateful and to prepare our hearts to remember Good Friday and to celebrate Easter. We are thankful for the wonderful weather you have provided, we are reminded that you are the giver of all good things. Thank you for your care for us that we can see in the changing of the seasons. Lord, you watch over us in so many ways, a thing we can see each time we step outside. Thank you for shelter, for food, and for all the good things you provide each day. Help us not to take these blessings for granted. Be with all those who don't have as much as we do. Remind us to be kind and generous with the gifts you have given. We thank you for the leaders on the federal, provincial, and municipal levels that you have provided for us. We are privileged to live in this country. We ask that you will guide our leaders to make decisions in ways that honor you. Give them grace and wisdom, we pray. We ask for your guidance as we seek new members of, Beth of Council for Bethel Church. Please be with the people who give of their time and talents to become elders and deacons. We thank you for the gifts that you have given each one of us. Please be with the frontline staff who are working to help people in hospitals, in long-term care facilities, in other care settings, and in the effort to get people vaccinated. At times, it seems that COVID-19 is hard to beat, but we know that the end is in sight. Thank you for being with us throughout the pandemic. We ask for your help in places where the suffering is great. You know the needs of all people in all over the world. Help us to be part of the healing. Use us, we pray. Lord, bless the organizations that we are a part of. This week, we especially pray for the denominational ministry shares that Bethel contributes to. Bless them and help them continue their work within the Christian Reformed Church. Bless, too, the ongoing work of Bethel in our congregation and in the wider community. Thank you for GEMS, Friendship Club, Sunday School, and all the other groups that are meeting online. As each group reaches out to different people, let your hand be on them to show your love and your care. Please be with all those who are going through rough times right now. We think of the ones who are ill or are helping someone who is not well. There are people in our community who are dealing with the effects of COVID, and so we ask for healing and strength for them. We pray for those who are grieving loved ones, both recently and in the past. Some, Father, that have lost a loved one just this week. Lord, we know that our comfort comes only from you, so we ask for a special measure of it to be given to the ones who are dealing with so much at this time. We thank you, too, for the wonderful things that are happening among us. We thank you for new babies, for birthdays and anniversaries, and for personal milestones. We know you care for each one of us so deeply, and we thank you for it. We thank you now for Pastor Kirkhoff as he opens your word for us. We are thankful for the preparation that has gone into his teaching. Please give us open hearts that we hear your word and apply it to our lives. 
We pray this all in the name of Jesus. Amen.